What's going on guys? My name is Nick Hellman, aka the Crypto Hitman, and the Bitcoin Spot ETF is not coming January 10th, and I'm about to tell you why. All right, let me be the devil's advocate, the pessimist in the room. And what would happen if the January 10th Bitcoin spot ETF isn't approved? It's actually denied for both ARK and 21 shares and delayed for the other 8 to 10 to 12 or however many Bitcoin spot ETFs there are now. Well, what's going to happen is that there's going to be extreme downside volatility. As we have seen today, Bitcoin rallying as high as $47,000 in the anticipation that the Bitcoin spot ETF will be launching January 10th. Now, I personally have been saying that a Bitcoin spot ETF will come in January or March of 2024 since the summer of 2023. Everybody else was saying it was coming in August, then September, then October, then November, then surely before the new year. Oh, and then we're going to see it on January 2nd, January 3rd, January 4th. Now all of them have capitulated and they're all saying it's coming January 10th. I've never been on that bandwagon. I've always been saying January 10th. Or March. Now we've already seen since the FOMO of the ETF has started, we have gone from somewhere around $26,000 to $47,000. So you have a couple questions. A, even if the January 10th deadline is met, we get multiple Bitcoin spot ETFs launched tomorrow. How much is left in the tank? How much is left in the tank? We've already seen a $20,000 run based off this news that the Bitcoin spot ETF is coming. I do believe if we do get a spot ETF in the next two days, we will see a God candle towards $50,000. Upon the announcement of the Bitcoin spot ETF, the trading doesn't happen right away. It's going to take a few days, one to three days for that trading really to start. And if they announce it on the 10th, it could be as late as the next Monday. Um, so I think we do see a God candle, maybe chop up here and some kind of retracement, even if it's bullish back down to these levels, 46000 or so. It realize it does take time for these individuals, these um, stockbrokers to get their clients on board, allocate some percentages, whether it be 1% to 10% of their portfolio position into the Bitcoin exposure. Now, again, if the Bitcoin spot ETF is announced on January 10th, I expect it to be multiple ETFs, including the ARK and the 21 shares, GBTC, BlackRock, Vanguard, and this thing will go straight to $50,000. But again, I said I was going to be the pessimist. Why do I think that it is very possible for the Bitcoin spot ETF to be denied for both ARK and 21 shares, they will have to then refile and be delayed for the other 8 to 10 uh, individuals who are trying to get the Bitcoin spot ETF. Well, a couple reasons. January 10th is the deadline only for ARK and for 21 shares. That means the others can be delayed and the next deadline will happen between March 14th to March 19th. This would give the SEC some more time to digest uh, make sure everything's ducks in the row and leading right into the having in April. Also, we are seeing that we 90% of analysts, 90% of analysts believe that the SEC approved some of the spot Bitcoin ETFs in the days leading up to January 10th. Obviously, we're in the days leading up to January 10th. I don't think SEC would ever be early, so it's not going to happen today. It's not going to happen tomorrow. It'll probably happen on the 10th. Maybe they surprise you tomorrow, but again, 90% of people are saying this is a done deal. Not for one, not for two, but for multiple Bitcoin spot ETFs on January 10th. How often, how often are the masses correct? Again, I'm just being the pessimist in the room, the devil's advocate. Not very often. Then let's look at this. Here's the full list. Of course, there's more of these. These are all the big guys, though. Final deadlines. ARC 21 shares Bitcoin ETF 1-10-2024. That is in two days. They've already refiled before. SEC could deny this. Make them refile. They'll be on a 45-day extension, just like the rest of these, and fall right into this parameter. We see other final deadlines from the March 14th to March 19th. Nice little gap there. What does that do? Deny it tomorrow, 45 days, we get into March, and now we can approve all of these. you got the refiling of ARC, maybe they fix something. The rest of these get more time to update their filings as well leading into March. And then that also gives these people more time to see their investments. We know Vanguard has bought something like $70 million with Bitcoin. We know BlackRock said they were going to start seeding their investment. We know Grayscale already, GBTC already exists. They have billions of dollars in AUM, uh, so they don't need to seed any further. 
Ark probably has everything it needs. Uh, we do know that Kathy Wood and Ark did sell a large portion of their coin base near the highs. She hasn't traded Coinbase all that well, so I don't look too much into that. But they did sell Coinbase. They did sell their GBTC. Uh, so that's interesting as well. Um, so I'm just saying, don't think it's a foregone conclusion, guys. And don't think it can't be a sell the news. Again, January 10th happens. We get multiple ETFs. Things going straight to 50000 Probably have a sell the news capitulation. Because there's a lot of people long. A lot of people long for this god candle for the bitcoin spot etf i even did a little poll here still 21 hours left 54 percent of people think january 10th 21 percent of people think march eight percent think after having and 16 percent think never how often are the masses correct i mean this isn't a huge bet you know this would be a plus uh this would be a, a favored bet in vegas like this isn't crazily going on the limb because again people thought this was coming in august september october november december now they're just saying january 10th a blind squirrel finds a nut in the forest every once in a while, and a clock is correct two times a day. But I don't know. Just trying to be the pessimist. I think it is very possible. You also see over here this rally CNBC. I don't know if you can hear this. They're supremely bullish in this clip, saying that it's almost a foregone conclusion that multiple Bitcoin spot ETFs are coming January 10th. I don't know if Gary Gensler, you know, Gary Gensler made a thread today about investing in crypto assets, and everybody's like, oh my gosh, it's coming right here, right now. I don't know if they'll rush it. I've been saying they wouldn't rush it for months. That's why I said January or March. It is possible to deny ARC, make them refile, and get them in line with everybody. For the fi final denial or approval in March, mid-March. That would be right before the halving. You would allow the SEC to get more ducks in a row. You would allow them to get more content out about the risks of Bitcoin and crypto. Try to get Congress and the Senate and everybody on board. You know, you get the halving right after it. So the likelihood of Bitcoin going up and you looking like an idiot with pie on your face, Gary Gensler, is low. Because another thing is Gary doesn't want this to launch and then Bitcoin die. Because that's going to make him look even dumber. You waited all this time. Bitcoin is at 16,000, went to 46,000. You finally approve it. It dumps. You look silly. I guess in the backdoor rooms, I'd be happy because USD would remain the number one global monetary policy, uh, not trying to compete with Bitcoin. But nonetheless, this is why I wanted to get on here. You're on major resistance here at 47,000. You have a bearish divergence that has formed on Bitcoin as well. A higher high, a lower high on the RSI. You got major support down here towards the 40k mark and then you have a big buy zone from 36,000 to 38,000 really the fake etf news stem back here and bitcoin is not giving you an entry fake etf news then it's coming in september then it's coming in october then it's coming in december now it's coming in two days everybody is bullish 90 percent of people say it's coming that leads me to believe that there actually is a higher than 50 50 shot that this does not come and we see multiple bitcoin spot etfs between March 14th and March 19th of 2024. This is why, and this is how the January 10th Bitcoin spot ETF doesn't happen. This is how the Bitcoin price gets absolutely decimated down into this buy zone. A simple delay, and people will panic. This was the one random blog post saying they were delayed. Look at that. Went from 47,000, 46,000 down to 41,000 in an instant. Some one relatively unknown article, blog post, news outlet. What happens when they all post it? What happens when it's officially from the SEC? Don't you think BlackRock and all of them would want to see it at lower prices? Do you think the masses will be wrong once again? Do you think that simply denying ARC, making them refile, change it a little bit, and allows all the others to make sure their ducks are in a row for the next two months? I think it's possible, guys. That's why I wanted to make this video. Be careful. If they get approved, if you're going long, realize there will be a straight up green candle for $50,000. Get out of leverage position in my opinion right here. Also put in a close stop if you're in profits because if they are denied in the next two days with the amount of hopium and FOMO that we've seen, this thing is going to crater. We've also seen, I made a post about it, that many alts, you know, have been relatively weak, bleeding, if you shall, while Bitcoin was remaining stagnant the past few days, over the past seven days or so. This is kind of the final rotation. People pulling out of alts and chasing this Bitcoin spot ETF god candle. 
I hope they get their gains. Because, again, I think $50,000, you're going to have some consolidation. Overall, guys, I'm supremely bullish on Bitcoin in the long term. Supremely bullish on what a Bitcoin spot ETF does. But I need to be the pessimist. I need to put some of your guys' um, outlook in perspective and let you know that this isn't a guarantee. Everybody's telling you it's a guarantee. And when that happens, it's usually too good to be true. I'll talk to you later. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button for your daily updates right here at Learn Crypto. Crypto Hitman, Nick Hellman. We do our thing. Hit that like. Hit that follow button, guys. We are here to help. We are right more than we are wrong. We've been here for a very long time. Peace.